What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of your women. Alright, good evening everybody. <coughs> we have our match in the OCC tonight. The very first match of the new season in Tier 1A. With my lizards against uh, Ant-Man and his orcs. <coughs> and it looks like he is at home. So... Let's check his roster out real quick. See if he has a stadium enhancement. <coughs> he does. Ride and Pitch Invasion are canceled. He is carrying a 14-man roster with 8 fan factor, no coaches, no cheerleaders, 3 rerolls, and an apothecary. He has 4 bobs. One's a rookie. One is block guard. One is block guard with a niggle. <coughs> yep, with a niggle. And one is block guard mighty blow. Then he's got four blitzers. One is block jump up mighty blow. One is strength boosted with mighty blow and guard. And looks like he is niggled as well. Ooh, he's double niggled. Definitely need to be trying to get some hits on him. And then we got a blitzer with mighty blow tackle, guard, frenzy, and juggernaut. And our last blitzer is tackle jump up mighty blow piling on Juggernaut and he is armor broke. <coughs> Let's try to get some hits on him as well. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, six linemen. No um, troll, no goblins, no throwers. A bunch of linemen. He's got a rookie lineman, two rookie linemen, two linemen with block, a lineman with dodge, and then his ball carrying lineman is Moves boosted, so move six, block, edge boosted, so edge four, sure hands, and dodge. That's a really nice lineman right there. <coughs> Perfect lineman to get uh, ball carrying on. <coughs> and he is sitting at 1950. So he will be giving me 140. I've got 70k. <coughs> I could pop in. Oh, I'm minus a. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't have enough to rebuy him, that's why. <coughs> so I'm minus a source, which is going to suck. I've got 11 players, and I'm minus a rookie source, so... Mm, man, that stinks. I forgot I didn't have enough to re uh, rebuy that source. <coughs> so this should be fun. I'll probably just go with the 5 source, put 10k in to get the wizard. <coughs> I mean, I could buy the rookie source, but it's going to be loner, and do I really want that? Nah, not really. <coughs> could go with the star player. Helmet's no good here. Um, yeah, nah. Nah. Hemlock would be good, but I'd have to put my own money in to get him. He really wouldn't be too good here either way. With the, the stab wouldn't do any good here. Silly Billy, I can't even afford him. So, yeah, we're just going to throw 10k in, get the wizard, and go all out for the win here. <coughs> we're going to go all out for the win. At this point, we have to win to get moved back up to um, the next division, back up to champions division for next season. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go for the win play aggressive. We're still going to try to survive as well, but we need to try to win. I'll receive. Hey, what's up, Geiger? How you doing, man?
Yeah, uh, the guy that runs it looked on uh, early this morning, and he said it looked like you were kicked out about three hours after I logged off. You were finally, the server just finally kicked you. Because he was going to get on to see if there's a way we could do it in, within game, within the admin panel, but he wasn't able to find out because you were already off the server. Um, let's see. I rolled a 10. That's good to go with my 7 fan factor. <laughs> he rolled a 12, so my 10 didn't matter. Wow, that's three sets of doubles right off the bat. Double sixes for him, double fives for me, double threes for the weather. <coughs> that's pretty crazy. So he gets fame. I can still get to him. <coughs> That's the armor broke. That's the double niggled. Guys, he was niggled, right? All right, he's niggled, so we can go after him. <coughs> so we're gonna mighty blow here. Strength there. Let's go with that. <coughs> and hope he doesn't get a blitz. <coughs> okay, we'll take it. His stadium enhancement stops that. I'm okay with that kickoff. It's fine. <coughs> No brakes on anything, man. That stinks. <clears throat> uh. 
<coughs> oh, he's got the move boost one off. Okay, cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so we can get to there. <coughs> Oh shit, that's the guy I wanted to foul with. <laughs> oh, come on, man. You got a break there, man. <coughs> <coughs> Definitely not the rolls I was hoping to get on my armor breaks. Thank you, SN. <coughs> So it'll be interesting to see if he blitzes my sneaky git <coughs> right off the bat. I would imagine that's probably where he goes, but if he does, that means he leaves his killer marked for me to get hits on. <laughs> yep. <coughs> there he is, quick draw. <coughs> <coughs> so he's going to blitz with this one over here, I guess, on this uh, skink here. <coughs> Free it up so we can get in here and get some hits on him. Oh, he's going to use him instead. Interesting. The non-tackle piece gets the pal. It is mighty blow, though. And he'll break his first hit, I guarantee it. But he should. It's mighty blow on armor 7. Right? And, of course, he gets the injury, too. I get several hits on his guys, including a nice foul, and can't break armor once. Figures. Ooh, yes, please move on in there. <laughs> Chicken. Hmm, very interesting. <laughs> Three dice there, right? Thank you. 
Jesus. <laughs> Can't really, yeah, I can't really do that. See if the foul will work this time. <clears throat> Yeah, I bet you are. I'm not too worried about it. I'm not going to upgrade. I'm good enough with 1080. I'll wait for the 30s to come out. But for those that are still on the 900 series, yeah, definitely I would upgrade. I like that he's putting him right down there for me. <clears throat> oh, 
I wish he'd quit getting yellows on every hit, though. <clears throat> he hasn't got a double red yet. I've had a couple of them. Granted, one of them was on a three die, so my third die saved me. Blitz here, but I'm not sure where he's going to blitz. No? So he's not going to blitz then. <coughs> or is he going to... Nope, not going to dodge out there either. Okay, so he just did blitz. Interesting. Get off some dead skin or something. So that's going to be a one die there. <clears throat> okay. So this would be a two die here. Let's go that route. Nice. Really, what I wanted. Break him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Break his ass. Damn it. Christmas. Him there. Get him out here. here. Oh shit! Ah, uh, that's who I wanted to foul with. God damn it! Uh, fuck! God damn it! That's who I wanted to fucking foul with. <laughs> Of course I roll a fucking one right there. <sighs> I really wanted that guy pushed out of the way so I could get a better foul.
pisses me off so bad. It's not who I wanted to foul with. Thankfully, he didn't get caught. <clears throat> ah, that pisses me off. The bad thing is, is now my sneaky gets out there for him to get a hit on. And I imagine he definitely blitzes him with that guy that's standing up there. <laughs> this guy right here. Of course he gets it. <laughs> <clears throat> All because he boneheaded. If he doesn't bonehead, that doesn't happen. Because he's at least got guard on him and he can only get a one die, or he pushes him or knocks him down there, and then he doesn't even get that hit. Pisses me off so bad. <clears throat> Is he going to go all in to try to get the hit on there? There's no way he can. Is he going to dodge out? He's probably going to try to dodge out with these two guys and let him keep him marked. Man, only having five swords sucks, dude. <laughs> really sucks. Tricky the Leary. Yeah. Did I see 1,200 on him? Thought I seen somewhere on a report where it said something about 1,200. Yeah. Man, it pisses me off I left him that hit. So mad. Should have never got that fucking hit, man. Should have never got that hit. God, that pisses me off so bad. Never should have got that fucking hit. Push. Yellow's better. Now break his ass. That's what I really need. 
course not. <laughs> because why in the world would I? If I don't mark him, he just comes down and gets a hit on me. <laughs> I gotta hope to God I make a dodge here. Phew. We really love to foul him. Armor 8, so it's a 9 plus. But if I get caught and I don't break, then he gets the hit on me and I'm fucked. really in trouble here. I can't get none of his guys off the pitch. He's just slowly getting mine off. Really in fucking trouble right here, man. <clears throat> All he's gonna do is jump up and kill this guy now. I, mean, I could bring this guy back down here. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He can still get some pretty easily. Just in a bad, bad spot. Uh, you can use gold coins in Set City. There's merchants there. Fuck. It's an almighty blow hit that takes me out. Um, you can grind them in the gold dust. Gold dust gets you uh, the ability to make out chemical base, which is something you need for a lot of things. So he breaks with no mighty blow, can't break with mighty blow. Demon blood you need for many things as well. It's for, for later on in the game when you're crafting bigger things later on. I can get two dice. Nice, no takedown. Does he re-roll it? He's thinking about it. He does. Ugh. Well, at least he wasted a re-roll on it. Oh, he didn't get greedy for the cross. <laughs> Couldn't allow him to have that jump up hit here or on this guy. Nice. No reroll. Oh, and he KO'd himself. Nice. We like that. Finally, something bad went for him. <clears throat> something bad went for him. On that greed. Because of that greed, we rolled to get that hit. Alright, so that's one die, one uphill, and one die. 
Uphill, uphill. No, one die. Two die, two die. I want to get to where he can go one. Two, three, four, five, six, and him maybe. Or I think I might have to take a chance here with a one die, to be honest. Right here. Whew! Thank goodness. Get some two dice here. So I'm going to move him first. So I don't have to worry about him. Can't worry about him. If he gets him down, he could get to me. He could get to me. Too worried about him, though, because he's got to come out of there. So does he. able to get to me if I knock him here. Made a straight up dodge right there. Sure, I made yeah, I made the dodge straight up. I still got my reroll. <laughs> straight up anyway with the six. Didn't even need the break tackle. And then he'll just stay pat because he's diving tackle, so.
The only way he gets to me is making the dodge out here. And I got diving tackle on him, so. <clears throat> His best bet's probably just get the hits he can get and force me to score. Nice on him, I guess. <coughs> Mighty blow here. No break. Nice. Interesting. <coughs> interesting that he let me have at least even the one die there that he didn't even let me have that. Very interesting. Question is, do I get greedy enough to take it? That's probably why he's doing it, trying to put that greed out there. He could actually get to me with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. <coughs> Diving tackle. <laughs> Work for me, diving tackle. I'm hoping he forgot about diving tackle. That's what I'm hoping. <clears throat> nope. He didn't. That's why he changed his mind. <clears throat> So make him fail something and make him use his reroll at least. That's all I ask. Just make him use his reroll. <coughs> make him use a reroll. There we go. That's all I ask. Oh, that's even better. We'll take it. Oh, and he broke himself. Oh, and a KO. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. We'll take it. That means I can probably stall out another turn. <coughs> and I don't have to worry about this guy anymore. The rest of this drive, anyway. So one, two, hit him for three. He's jump up, right? Ah, he is jump up. Damn it. One, two, hit him for three. Four, five. <coughs> Problem is, he can get to me with him. Well, he can mark me with him at least.
greedy. Alright, so now, do I get greedy and try to stall? If I do, it requires a dodge with my skink. Here we go. One. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Um, if I dodge out with my skink and get down here, that would be the perfect case scenario, right? I'm going to try it. I'm going to get risky. Dodge. No. Whew. Thank goodness. Now, the bad thing is, do I try this hit? Well, all it can do is mark me, so I might as well. There's no if I if I go really stupid, it doesn't hurt me. I didn't go really stupid. So that works, because now I can push him here. I get in the way of him dodging out that way now. It forces him to go this route. <laughs> best he can do is nothing. Mm, nah, we'll take the scroll. Save my last reroll. It does give him the free mighty blow hit now on him, though, unfortunately. He was most likely going to get it anyway if I didn't move him out, because he would have been able to get the hit here, and then move him in for the guard, get the hit there, move follow in for the guard to get the hit on him. <laughs> Could he get to me there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now he can't get to me. Unless he... Another non mighty blow break. <coughs> no, that was mighty blow that time. Unless he dodges through tackle zones here, he can't get to me. Ah. Don't break me. No, and he KO'd me too. Damn it. Well, he's pretty much making me have to score this turn now. <laughs> Got too many guys off the pitch. Four, five, six guys. I got five guys left. So, I mean, he could try to go uphill here and just push him back, and then that would give him a run at me. <clears throat> or he can try to dodge through the tackle zones with the go for it. His best bet, if he's going to try to blitz the ball, is to get the uphill here and just push him back. Dead. Okay. Nice. No take down. We like that. We'll just come right here and. Nice. Even better. Does he reroll it? Nope. Oh, he uses Juggernaut. Just go here and keep the uh, diving tackle on this guy. So if he decides to dodge out, he'll have to at least deal with that. Nice. Come on back up here and get diving tackle on him. I'm giving 
giving him plenty of chances to get that pal, and there he finally gets it. I can get a mighty blow hit on this guy here because he is double nickeled, right? That's the double niggler? Yep. Come on, baby. One last chance to break this guy. Come on, baby. One last chance. Oh, come on. Terrible, man. <laughs> So many chances on that guy to break him and just couldn't do it. Couldn't couldn't uh, take a chance of stalling any longer. He gets one out of two, so he's at 50%. I get one out of three, I'm not at 50%. But I will get another roll at him, but I'm gonna have to take some hits here though. <clears throat> I got six guys to try to keep him from scoring in two turns. <laughs> Good luck. I should have put him in the middle. <clears throat> that way he could get to either side. I've limited myself now to enforce him to take this side. Well, I gotta hope I don't roll a one now, since I didn't get fame. If I roll a one, I only get 10k and I can't buy my source again. I need at least a two. <laughs> of my four rolls, the one I get back is the fucking skink. I need a source back. Roll a two, one, and a three. One, two, and three. Kick it to his end zone. Nah, that helps him. It's right in line with where he needs to be. He doesn't even have to go back to get the ball now. Terrible kick. <clears throat> Terrible kick. guys I gotta try to keep enough guys on the pitch to be able to get the one turn potential one turn tying touchdown if he scores here thankfully no break there no uh, takeoff there and hope I can get my other guys back too if I can have eight people on the pitch on turn 16 I'll have a chance including 
two skinks, with this guy being one of them, then I'll have a chance to, to score, whether it's to win or draw, depending on what happens here. I would expect we'll see a foul at the end here, too. for the blitz on the Crocs, which he probably should with this guy here. <clears throat> but it's going to limit the amount of guys that can uh, have a potential chance to score. <clears throat> oh good, it's piling on stayed out. Nice, I just noticed that. <clears throat> Just notice that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> I need him to fail this pickup and have to use. Well, you got sure hands. Never mind. As I say, I need him to fail the pickup and have to use the reroll. That'd be really nice. It's a shame he broke this skink. I could have stood up and dodged out with him to mark somebody. <clears throat> He wants to blitz that croc so bad, but he knows he's got to give guys up to do it. Double one on the pickup would be nice, but I don't expect it. If I knock him down, he's not jump up. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Knock him down there.
need a yellow here. <clears throat> really need a yellow here. Oh, pfft. that's not a fucking yellow. Jesus Christ, man, really? Wow. That screwed me. If I fail one of these go for it's now, I'm fucked. But I gotta do them. Unbelievable, dude. Unbelievable. Wow. The least I could have done was taking him off the pitch. So that's du that's double ones with the skulls into uh, three three slash four and a six, and then double fives on the armor break four three there, and then a one on the freaking go for it. Mm -mm -mm. That sucks. So now what he does is he just hands off here, and then he blitzes here and hopes he gets the power of the both down. If he gets the both down, he's got to make two go for it. If he gets the power, he can get he only has to make one. <clears throat> uh, what a shit time to get double skulls, man. I mean, I could have... I could have not done the go for it and just ran him up and marked him there and forced him to go this route and get past the ball to him. Would have been go for it or... A, or a, no, it still would have been a three-plus pass. And three plus catch and had to go for it. And he had a reroll. <laughs> you should already have three dice. I need him to fail the catch or not get a both down or a pal on him. <clears throat> fail the catch and use the reroll there would be nice. And that limits what he can do here on the blitz. Nice. Perfect. That's all I ask. All right, so no pal, no both down, and I'll be good. Wow, is he gonna blitz here instead? <clears throat> That'd be a mistake. What a mistake. You have to get a pal now. Wow. <clears throat> wow, wow, wow. <clears throat> that was a misplay there. That was an absolute misplay there. He, he, I caught a break on that. He just absolutely misplayed that. Nice, and his big guy stays out. Now give me some of mine back. <laughs> Fun out of three. Ugh. Well, at least I got one of them. Alright, I gotta leave the same guys up there, unfortunately. <clears throat> I 
Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep him back. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want them to get freaking any hits on any of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it'd be two go for it's to do it that way. So instead of 6 on 11, it's now 7 on 11. Yeah. No, not without doing go for it. And he didn't have any rerolls at that point. <clears throat> yeah, it would have been a GFI with that lineman. Even then, it wouldn't have been better to go there because he has to get the pal because I've got diving tackle. Even if he gets a push, I sidestep directly in front of him and he's got a diving tackle to go through. The other guy doesn't have diving tackle. Yeah, I can sidestep with him, but you can dodge out because I don't have the side attack. It was just a misplay on his part. I, I don't know if he forgot that guy had block or diving tackle or why he was scared of going after the other guy. He should have went after the other guy anyway because it's my, my biggest threat towards him. And he's armor broke. He's an armor six king. So he had a really good chance with Mighty Blow to get him out of the game. So if nothing else, he should have went after him just for that. To get him out for this half, right? <clears throat> That's why I moved him back one more square in case he got that quick snap. That way he wouldn't be able to get the one go for a hit. Or the uh, the straight hit without a go for it, I mean. Now he's getting, gonna get the one go for a hit, potentially. Ooh, nice kick. <clears throat> nice kick. Five, six. Nice. That'll slow him down a little bit and give me a chance to get my skinks back here for a potential lightning bolt pickup score. Oh, he shouldn't have moved there. He's making himself make an extra move to get to the ball now. Oh, he messed up there. Four, five, six. Yep. Now he's going to have to pick the ball up and stay right there on the goal line. Nice. Yes, we'll stay right there. Ah, oh, darn it. I was hoping for no yellow. I did dodge the mighty blue hit, though. <laughs> so that's good. Ah. Now the question is, does he commit these two guys down to get the hit? <clears throat> uh, he doesn't have to. He could just get the hit with him, but he leaves him open to get pounded on if he does, and that's the guy he doesn't really want to get hurt. One of the two on his team, he doesn't want to get hurt. So I don't think he blitzes here at all. <clears throat> Looks like he might foul. The skink, potentially. Here. Yep. Come on, ref. Catch him. <clears throat> Double ones. Double ones, baby. KO, and he didn't get caught. An 8-8. Eight, 6-2, eight. Six, 6-2. Two, six, two. Well, that sucks.
I hope he forgot I had the wizard. If he isn't careful here, I get that ball out. I can get it with this skink pretty damn easily. <coughs> oh, he's actually going to play into my hands a little bit. So I can score from here if that ball bounces in a spot where I can get to it. <coughs> <laughs> you better cover that hole up. <clears throat> nice. That's good. <clears throat> Stay right there. That makes him use another guy here. the yellow that time, but that's alright. And I dodged the Mighty Blow hit as well. So the Mighty Blow hit was wasted again. It's a beautiful thing. <clears throat> I imagine he's gonna blitz here. Because of the armor 7, he wants to get the Mighty Blow hit on it. I don't know. Is he gonna go for this guy? Try to get the hit on him? Needs one more assist. Hmm, interesting. <coughs> interesting. That's fine, I'll take that free hit. And it's with my tackle piece on his dodge. Take that free hit. <clears throat> is he going to do the... Oh, no, he's going to do the go for it. I was going to say, is he going to do the one die blitz there? Oh, and he fails to go for it. Nice. Oh, reroll then. Beautiful. We'll take it. Double skulls here would be really nice. <clears throat> no, but no takedown. That's good. No pal. We will take it. <clears throat> about that. This is my best chance, I think, right here. Let's hope for that ball to bounce, like, right there. If that ball bounces there, it'd be a beautiful thing. Or if the lightning bolt fails, that'd be a not beautiful thing. Uh-uh-uh-uh, man. 
That is just absolutely terrible. <coughs> absolutely terrible right there. again. Didn't even have to use brake tackle. baby there we go so at least I got the sidestep diving tackle in on him that's good <clears throat> well not over yet I'm making it hard on him at least Oh, he could get two dice if he uses him. That'd be greedy as hell, wouldn't it? Or gutsy would probably be a better word. Gutsy as hell. Because that would leave him all alone down here with just this guy to help. <coughs> really, he should do this hit first to see if he gets the pow. If he gets the pow, then he can be a little more risky and do some goofy stuff. <coughs> wow, he's going to actually do it. Holy fuck, dude. Talk about gutsy as fuck. Uh-uh-uh. Damn it. Would have been nice if he would have not got to take down there. Didn't break, that's good. But now he can move, unfortunately. And he just moves right here. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. I did not see that coming. Did not expect him to use him down there like that. Interesting. Ah, he gets the yellow. Damn it. Would have been nice to get no yellow there. But look at that. I made him use four guys just to get that hit. Unfortunately, because I don't have more guys on the pitch, I can't really take advantage of it. If I had my other two source on the pitch right now, He'd really be in trouble having to do that. He wouldn't have been able to do that, to be honest. <coughs> so now I need no pal here. Come on, no pal. No pal, baby, no pal. Nice. Yep, we'll just stay right there on that guy. He should follow. 
Oh, we did. That gives me the chance to sidestep back there if I want. That would put me back into his tackle. Um, one, two. Oh, I can't get to him from there. One, two, three, four, five. Shit. Oh, that sucks. That was a bad time for that. Bad time for that. I'm in some bad trouble here. The fuck did I re-roll earlier? Oh, I re-rolled that. Go for it. Shit. So I'd have to get double pow here. Uh, not good, guys. Not good. I had my chance with the lightning bolt and it fizzled. Now, watch me roll a one for winnings and I screw myself because I spent the 10k to get the lightning bolt that fizzled. Watch that. I, I guarantee you that's what's going to happen. And then I'm only going to have 70k and not be able to get my sixth source back. And it's going to end up screwing me. Watch. Mark my words. <laughs> Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, I figured that was coming. <laughs> oh, no takedown. Nice. I like... And he re-rolls it into another no takedown. Even better. Heck yeah. Oh, but he gets a takedown there. Damn it. Shit. No break, though. That's good. No break. I'm still alive. <laughs> Captain Positive. <laughs> Absolutely, Trunkheads. You know it. You know it. Hmm, interesting. Nice, no take down there. Yes, we'll use dodge. Hmm. 
actual chance to get my other guy into the play. Free hit on the nickel guy. Now let's hope that I break him. No, I can't count on any break this game. Breaks are not going to happen this game for me. Not going to happen. Nice, made the jump up. I like it. I like it. Unfortunately, my strength or uh, armor seven source is going to take a uh, hit now from Mighty Blow. Not a whole lot I can do about it, but at least I'm keeping pressure on him. Wish I had my wizard now. My wizard would really come in handy right now. Although, as bad as he was the first try, he'd probably be just as bad the second. <laughs> Yeah. Yep, absolutely. And I'll tell you why. People forget about They expect stand firm. They forget about sidestep. I can't tell you how many times I've had coaches that i played against be say just exactly that when they hit them. They're like, oh, crap, he's got sidestep. And I'm able to screw him and get in a position they don't want because of it. Absolutely worth it. Plus, it allows me to roam the sidelines side better than Stand Firm does. Stand Firm is nice. But sidesteps better because it allows you to position yourself exactly where you want. Nah, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. <clears throat> At least it was just a KO. Unfortunately, right after he got the sidestep, he took the armor break. That was the other reason why I took the sidestep, was because... He already had an armor break, and he was armor eight, and I wanted to be able to put him, position him where I wanted with the armor eight instead of staying firm, staying there, and having to potentially take more hits. I'd rather position him where I want him than have to stand firm or let them move where they want him. But then he took the other armor break right after that, and I can't cut him because that season I lost four source, three source, three or four source. Four source. The only two source I still had was him and this one. So I had to keep him at that point, and I still do because I got too many low rookie, uh, low source. I got this one finally starting to get there, and I've got a rookie, and I've got a tackle, and I've got one source I don't even have. i got to get my sixth source. I've only got five because I lost my very last match. I lost one to death. Hmm. Interesting. They are a trunk hit, absolutely. I mean, all I can do here is try my best to just slow him down 
and or potentially put pressure enough that he scores on turn 15 and then hope that I can two turn. I got to save one of my re or one turn I mean save one of my rerolls for that and hope that both of my skinks survive till then. That's the bigger bigger point too. I got to have my skinks survive and hope that I get some guys back. Nice if I could actually break him. Oh, that's nice. his armor man it's one of those games where I just can't break armor no matter what I do it's a shame but that's the way it goes Just get my guys, my skinks especially, to safety and try to keep them. Yeah, I know CC normally isn't a, a league at the top where people are optimizing their team for TV. They're building their teams as big as they can beat them, beat them to kill them. No, 10k at that point is not a big difference, absolutely. I like stand firm, definitely. I like stand firm. I'm not saying it's not a good skill, but I like sidestep better than stand firm, especially on a on a mid-range piece like a black orc or a chaos warrior or a source, the strength four pieces, not the big guy, but the, the strength four pieces. The old foreigners on the Norse team because people don't expect it and it catches them off guard sometimes. They forget about it. And it can be a real hindrance and pain in the ass. Sidestep is normally just more of a pain in the ass than stand firm is anyway. <laughs> it is. Yeah, no, I agree 100% with you on that. Well, well... It can be. There's times when sidestep can be better with diving tackle. Just depends. But overall, overarching, yeah, I think stand firm is a little bit better. Like, for instance, back here, he was able to position enough that where he did the hit, I had to push myself off of the ball carrier, where if I had stand firm, I could have just stayed there. So, yeah. Overall, definitely stand firm, I think, is better a better play with, stand, uh, with uh, diving tackle. No yellow. No yellow. Yes. You got to reroll it. Nope. So I just stand right there. Yep. He's got to do the hit there now. No yellow. Oh, he gets the yellow. I still stand firm. And he doesn't break. So I'll at least get a hit on him. Yeah, for the uh, for a prehensile tail, absolutely, it's better. Fortunately, I won't be able to get to one. Die. I could get to one die actually. Yeah, I could get to one die here. He's going to foul him, so it doesn't matter.
ref catch it. Double ones. Double twos. Double anything. KOs me and he doesn't get caught. Two fouls and he doesn't get caught. <clears throat> oh, darn it. Well, so much for that idea. So much for that thought. Oh. I wanted a yellow. Now I can get a decent hit there. I was trying to keep him from being able to get a decent ch chance there. <laughs> oh yeah, I knew he was going to foul the Crocs. <clears throat> could get a hit on the ball carrier here, potentially. Yeah, I could, depending on what happens here. <laughs> and it would be a decent shot at it, too. Yeah, that's what I didn't want. Didn't want him to get that hit right there. Phew, thank goodness. <clears throat> Make him follow. Oh, he got it on that one. Damn it. Almost dodged away. Almost. No, and he injures him. Damn it. Be a badly hurt. Uh, I gotta take a chance here. Come on, baby, be a badly hurt. Yes. Phew. I needed him back for my one turn chance. Only chance I have to get the one turn. I can't I can't count on getting this guy back. <laughs> and I gotta count on getting at least three of these guys back, or I definitely won't have a chance. <clears throat> no, don't move there. That's not where I want you to go. God dang it. What the hell are you doing there? Oh, he's on his laptop at a hotel. That's why. That's why he's having a little bit of issues there. Well, that's better than where he was thinking about going here. That would have really been bad. Oh, nice. Oh, even. Oh, wow. Even nicer. Okay, so that allows me. That at least allows me to keep him safe. Run, skink, run. Get the fuck out of Dodge. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight is good. One die there, one die there. Nice. Come on, Mighty Blow, do something for a change. Nope. 
So I need a five or a six on both of those to have a chance. Let's do this one at a time, actually. Oh, I got the five on the first one. Nice. Come on, baby. Five or six. Oh, shit. I can actually get him. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No, I failed to go for it. Come on. Three plus. Three plus break tackle, and then I get two dice on him. Come on, baby. Pow. Pow. Yes! <laughs> ah, oh, and I broke him! <laughs> all, uh, it was all dependent upon me getting two five sixes in those first two dodges because if I don't get those then I don't have the break tackle right what did I get on the break tackle by the way so I rolled the go for it I rolled a three on the go for it uh, or no I rolled the dodge first and then the go for it that's weird no that's the second go for it to hit where's the reroll for the go for it at one. Huh, it doesn't show the reroll for the go for it. That's weird. Hmm. I wonder if that's a visual bug or if that's an actual bug bug. Because there should have been another roll right here for another go for it, then the dodge roll. So I should have rolled the three for the second go for it, then the five for the dodge, then the last go for it would have been the three, four on the push, then I would have rolled a pal and a push with the four. Then I would have rolled a 6-2 on the armor break. <clears throat> so there's a missing roll in there. It's either a visual glitch or an actual bug. Right, but I had to I had, had to re-roll the, the go for it, right? So where's the go for it roll? <clears throat> the three here is on the dodge. <clears throat> so now I gotta hope that he fails a couple rolls here. <clears throat> Five, six. And he still has a reroll though. In any event, rolling the five and the six on those first two dodges was the only way I could pull that off, right? Because I needed the break tackle for the roll there. And that's the good thing about this guy being strength six. Even break tackling into three assists, he still gets or sorry, two assists in this case, he still gets two dice on a strength three ball carrier. Even with the two assists that were there. Oh, he gets the pal. Damn it. That sucks. I needed him to not get the pal there. So now he can pick it up, hand off, and he scores. So I just need some failures here. I really needed him to not get the pal so that he's still standing. If he doesn't get the pal there, then this really makes it hard for him. Oh, don't do the hit up there. If you roll double skulls, you're gonna you're gonna kick yourself in the head in your in the ass for doing that. Ah, he makes the first one. scores so made it tough for him but he still pulls it off <clears throat> now I still have the chance to score back if I can get my KOs back <clears throat> I need some of these KOs back though in the worst possible way all oh, that yes that's beautiful right there baby beautiful all right, so I can pull this off, and his guy still stays out. <clears throat> and I still have a reroll. And I got both skinks back with the uh, edge boosted one, so that's beautiful. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right.
he's lining everybody up front, <clears throat> which is fine. That won't really bother me. I can dodge through as long as I just avoid double ones. I'll be fine. All I got to do is push one time. Yep, so we're going to go this route here. <coughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go back one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <coughs> Let's me hand off. Same way here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually gonna over more. Oh. I'm on the outside. Okay. So I got my skinks lined up where I want Um if I hit here, blitz him in there. So if I hit him, hit him, blitz here, bam, bam, push him out here. He's here. <sighs> push him out here. him here, then he can hit here. Which means I need to get a skink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> so then he can hit here. Doing this a weird way. I'm doing this a weird way, a different way, but I'm gonna try it. Because <clears throat> this allows me to catch the ball with the skink before without being marked up in any tackle zones. <laughs> An extra reroll I don't need. And the kick is fucking terrible. Ugh. That's absolute worst fucking kick I could hope for. 
seven, eight. So if I get to here, one, two, one. That's the best I can get. Uh-uh, uh-uh, man. Or, come here, pass to him, and then he runs up and hands off. That's probably my better bet. So if I hit here, push him, I need to follow. Oh, whoa, no. Perfect, that's a good start. Follow up. And I hit here. Perfect. Don't follow on this one. Whew, that's a good start there. So I can either pass straight to him, which is a 5 plus, 2 plus, or I can do a 4 plus, 3 plus. Still a five plus two plus. Oh, I make the pass. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes. Wow. Sweet. All right, so Red Bull with the pass. Oh, there's my one. Shit. Red Bull with the pass. Let's do that before I forget. Alright, now I just gotta make a break tackle here and get a push. <clears throat> no! Fucking one, come on. Thank you. Now give me a push, please. Shoo! Come on, yellow. Perfect. All right, now I just got to make some dodges and some go for it. Fucking talking about right there, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. <clears throat> Phew. Phew. Wow, nice one turner right there. I did it a little different. I probably did more rolls than I needed to do, but I wanted to set it up to where I could at least get it to the ski without having to catch it in a tackle zone. <clears throat> his kick made me have to make a whole lot of more rolls than I really wanted to do. Now, that's nice. I will not re-roll that. We got enough to replace our source. Phew. His superstar lineman got the MVP. My Crocs got the MVP. Alright, and then who scored? Uh, Super Skink scored the touchdown. His 40th touchdown. Oh, he actually got two touchdowns that game. That's his 41st touchdown. Puts him at 147. He's getting close to legend. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Trunkhead. Thank you, DNS. Thank you, World. Woo! And, and, well, I almost survived. <laughs> I did lose the, the skink to death, but, oh well. That skink's no big deal. I'll take a loner if I have to. Or until I can at least replace him. And I got past one of the heavier teams. And there's not a lot of heavy-hitting teams this time in this in this division. There's some softer teams. Or some some more agy, squishy-type teams. Not as many. Like last season, or the season before last when I was in Tier 1A, 
there wasn't one team that was not a kill team. I mean, every single team was kill stack team or, or claw heavy, with the, even with the necro with a couple of claws they advantage or uh, access that they had. It was just, it was ugly. And that's where my team got literally destroyed that season. I mean, just, oh, it was a rough, rough season. But now we're going to get, that's the team's 40th win too. That's nice. 40 wins, 23 losses, and 13 draws. 76 total games. We need Coke to third. Coke to third. <coughs> For our source back. Yay! We'll have a full source roster next turn. Next round. So when I started last season... I had rookie, rookie, rookie. This is in champions. Rookie, 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 and this guy I think had mighty blow only. I believe he was at six, six points and had mighty blow at the start of last season. So I had this guy who was armor eight at the time, and I had this guy. No, he might have been armor seven at the start of last season too. I think he was, if I remember right. So I had this guy. I had my Crocs, and then I had my two good skinks. All my other skinks were rookies, and my team was just beat to high hell. I mean, just absolutely beat to hell. But I survived last season. I knew I wasn't going to do anything in Champions. I just had to survive. In most games, I took an extra APO to make sure I could save it for one of, of three people. This guy, this guy, or my Crocs. And the Crocs was, was iffy at that point. So it definitely took a heavy hitting last season. Or, or the season before, sorry. Last season was more survival than anything, and I did lose some pieces last season, but not the important pieces. The important pieces still stayed. So this this team's almost a rule of five team. <laughs> the Crocs is really good with the block guard staying firm, the one-turn goofy skink, this nice skink for defensive purposes, and then my really goofy, goofy source that almost saved me the game without him even scoring. Almost. All right, so we lost... Who? We lost Monster. Our sneaky git. So, let's get him. Let's get him taken care of here. That's a nice opening win, though. We need that, because I am trying to get back to Champions next season. And hopefully surviving at the same time. So that, oh, actually, I don't need to do that. Nice. Okay. So that uh, we can maybe potentially make a run next season in Champions for a change. And this season is suited up for me to be able to potentially do that because, like I said, it's a softer hitting league this season or division. Now, with me saying that, watch, some of those softer hitting teams will probably do the most damage to me. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? <clears throat> Alright, so Monster 2 is done there. Done there. Done there. It'll be 60. And once he comes back in. And it will be Monster 3. Wow, that's only the second iteration of that skink. Monster 1 was sneaky get sidestep. That's why he kept fouling and getting put out of the the game before he could uh, before he could get hit really all right so we should have 010 19 197 and zero and 36 perfect yeah so this guy's getting close to uh, to legend he took the armor break the second to last game of last season he took the armor break and I think it was... I can't remember if I have the APO and I used the APO on him or not. I think it was. I think it was a dead and I used the APO to a... To a uh, armor break. Or maybe it was an edge break and I used it. I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the videos. But it definitely was the second to last game last season. Because the last game of the season I didn't have him. <clears throat> so, anyway. Very, 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 very good start. We're at 1820. Yep. And 20k there. Perfect. All right. So 
Let's go take a look real quick at what this division is so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And it's a good start. We're, we're starting out 1-0, so that's a really good start. We got another lizard team. We got a human team. We got a chaos team. We got an undead. We got a chaos. Oh, we did have three chaos. I was thinking we had two chaos, but we don't have any Nurgle. We don't have any chaos dwarves. I already got the orc team out of the way. We got some Amazon, some Kislev. Uh, the undead can be a little bashy, but I'm not too worried about that team. Uh, the humans, they can be a little bashy, but I'm not too worried about that team either. The other lizards could be fun. We'll see what happens there. But definitely a far cry from the last time I played in Tier 1A. The last time I played in Tier 1A, it was two Chaos, I think three Nurgle, two Orcs, a Necro, an Undead, and my Lizards. I think, something like that. It was it was crazy goofy. So, but we're off to a good start. Who do we play next week? Next week we get the Thieving Unfortunates. Which is Valentin and his humans. So we get the humans next. Or Vayteen. Vayman? Vaynin. There we go, Vaynin. So we get his humans. How's his roster looking? He is missing a catcher. That's nice. So we'll have a 13-man roster. Our TV's pretty even. Uh, he's got four rerolls. I don't know why he's carrying four. Does he not have a thrower with... No, he doesn't have a thrower. That's why he's carrying four. No thrower with leader. He does have the ogre, obviously, with guard only. He's got four blitzers. He's got a strength four guard mighty blow. He's got a move eight guard. He's got a mighty blow tackle um, dauntless guard. And he's got a dodge guard. It's only one blodging blitzer. That's nice. He's got a rookie lineman here. He's got a block a tackle guard lineman, a wrestle dauntless lineman, a wrestle lineman, a block lineman, a rookie lineman. And his three catchers are move boosted, so move nine and catch. Diving catch? No catch. They come with catch, yeah. They come with dodge catch. Uh, his block sidestepper is out this game with a niggle. And his other block sidestepping with guard is in this game. So this should be a fun game. Should be an interesting matchup. Should be an interesting matchup. He does have a couple mighty blow. Three with the ogre. Um, but he's only got one tackle. No, he's got two tackle. So he could do a little bit there on the skinks. But not as heavy hitting at a team as the last game I just played. He does have a lot of guard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven guards. So he'll definitely out guard me for sure. So it'll be a fun match. It'll be interesting to see how he plays. I've never never seen the coach before. Don't know how he plays. Don't know how he will play. So it should be a fun one. Anyway, all right. Well, we're going to end the recording on that note. We'll see everybody next week. Actually, it'll be Thursday will be my game with him, I believe. Thursday during the afternoon for me, during my lunch. So it'll be around um, uh, 18.15 UTC, I think is what we said. So 6, 1, 1 15 my time, U.S. Central time. So those of you that want to jump on, if you're at lunch or something like that, feel free. We'll definitely have that game going on Thursday and have some fun with it. And until then, for the recording side, we'll see everybody then. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my, my people. Mother. Back to the beginning. They do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, 